part one of this video series, we covered the core components needed to get the CNC system running centered around the DMM DMB4250 breakout board. In order to expand the system with additional features, the user can easily add in or modify with an appropriate third-party controller, optimizing for their particular machine requirements. The DYN servo drives follow industry standard pulse or analog command and are compatible with all CNC and motion controllers that support these formats. In part 2 of this series, we will go over the structure, connection diagram, and setup for a few common controllers including the UC100, Ethernet Smooth Stepper, UC400 ETH, C62, the Hikon Integra, the CSMIO IPS. Any motor size can be used for each axis and the user should select this according to their machine requirement. In this video, we will be using a 3-axis system with 1 DYN4 and 2 DYN2 servo drive axes. Make sure all servo drives are set into pulse direction command input mode and position servo mode. We'll be using Windows 7 platform and Mach 3 as CNC controller. The UC100 is easiest to incorporate as it plugs directly into the DMB breakout board. Connect the UC100 into the breakout board, then connect the UC100 to the PC using the USB cable provided. Note that the breakout board still needs a 5V and 24V power supply. The DMB breakout board's parallel port connector is female, so you use a male DB25 pair to connect to the UC100. Follow the UC100 manufacturer instructions for setup with your PC, which includes installing the driver and Mach 3 plugin. Since we're using the DMB breakout board, we need to load the XML file for this board. Copy the Mach 3 mail DMB4250 XML file into the C Mach 3 directory. Run Mach 3 loader. Select Mach 3 mail DMB4250 profile. At the plugin screen, select the UC100 CNC. Then clear the reset and finish. The Ethernet Smooth Stepper or ESS is also connected directly to the DMB breakout board. Connect the DMB breakout board to the ESS port 1 using an LPH26 to male DB25 cable. Connect 5V power supply to the ESS. Connect Ethernet cable from ESS to PC. Follow the ESS manufacturer's instructions for installation instructions. Run the ESS SCU application to install the Mach 3 driver and configure the networking. Since we're using the DMB breakout board, load the XML file and copy into C Mach 3 directory. Run Mach 3 loader. Select Mach 3 mil DMB4250 profile. At the plugin screen, select ESS Mach 3. If communication is not achieved, manually enter the default IP address and click OK. Then clear Mach 3 reset to finish. The UC400 ETH controller offers more performance than the UC100 and can also be connected directly to the DMB breakout board. The UC100 and UC400 are also compatible with UC CNC. Connect the DMB breakout board to the UC400 port 1 using an LPH26 to male DB25 cable. Connect the UC400 to PC using Ethernet cable. Connect 24V power supply to the UC400. Follow the UC400 manufacturer's instructions for installation details. Run the UC automatic installer application to install the UC400 driver and Mach 3 plugin. Run the UC utility software to configure the network. Copy the DMB breakout board configuration XML file into Mach 3 directory. Run Mach 3 loader and select DMB4250 profile. Select UC400 as plugin. Clear reset, then finish. The C62 is a dedicated breakout board and replaces the DMB breakout board used previously. It can be connected to various motion controllers and we will be going over the setup paired with an Ethernet smooth stepper. 
make sure the driver connection on the C62 is set to TTL 5V logic. Connect DYN4 to C62 using dedicated RJ45 to driver board for DYN4 manufactured by CNC for PC. Connect DYN2 to C62 using dedicated RJ45 to driver board for DYN2. Or make a custom connection cable according to this wire diagram. Follow the ESS and C62 manufacturing instructions for setup details. Run the ESS SCU utility check communication with the ESS and install Mach 3 plugin. Copy the C62 configuration XML file into Mach 3 directory. Run Mach 3 loader, then select C62 configuration. Select ESS Mach 3 as plugin, and if prompted, enter the default ESS IP address. Clear reset, then finish. The Hikon Integra is an all-in-one Ethernet motion controller. Connect the Hikon Integra to the PC and servo drives, then power up using 5V and 24V power supply. The DY and servo drive should be wired to the Hikon Integra as follows. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for detailed setup with your PC. First, download and run the VSI device manager to establish network connection. Copy the Integra Mach 3 plugin file into the Mach 3 plugins directory. Copy the configuration file for the Hikon into the configuration directory. Run Mach 3 loader, then select Hikon. At the plugin screen, select Hikon plugin. Then reset to complete. The IPS is a comprehensive step in direction motion controller. Connect the IPS to the PC and servo drives, then power up using 24V power supply. The DYN2 and DYN4 servo drives should be wired to the IPS as follows. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for detailed setup with your PC. Download and run the IPS setup program to install the firmware upload and Mach 3 plugin. Run Mach 3 loader and follow the IPS controller manual to configure a new profile. At the plugin screen, select the IPS controller. Go into configuration, ports and pins, motor outputs tab and enable the X, Y, Z axis outputs. Then reset to complete. This concludes our setup instructions for optional third-party CNC and motion controllers. Contact DMM or visit our website for further compatibility, performance, or product information.